Well, how are you? We are well, Miss Dolly. How are you? Good. Good. Zach, how are you, my friend? Doing good. How are you, brother? Outstanding. Listen, this has got to be so crazy for you. I have to ask Dolly, excuse me, I got to ask Zach this. Dude, share with us how this happened. Did the phone just ring one day or did you just go, hey, you know what? I'm going to run over to Dolly's house. <laughs> yeah, we, uh, I wrote this song with a couple other guys. Uh, one of the guys has, has been a country songwriter for years. His name's Casey Bethard. And um, we wrote the song and the day we finished it, uh, I had a demo come back a couple of days later and, and one of the, there was a girl that sang a background vocal and it just reminded me of Dolly's voice and I called back my producer and I said, hey, can we can we find out how to get a hold of, of Miss Dolly Parton and, and see if she would be interested in singing on this? And uh, it kind of went back to the label and the label was like, well, I mean, that's a, that's a pretty big ask, you know? And I was like, well, you know, can we can we track track somebody down? And uh, it was about a two month process of trying to kind of, well, now we found somebody and now she's agreed to listen. And, uh, and, and I guess she liked it. So um, she <laughs> got the song and, and, and we heard back that she loved it and she wanted to be a part of it. And I was, I mean, I was floored. I was blown away. So, but really, Dolly, it, it's you know, songs of faith is absolutely nothing new to you. Well, no, I grew up in the church, and this this particular song, though, it was just like a godsend. It just kind of when I first heard it, I thought, oh, what a well written song. What's the name of the other writer on the song, Zach? Uh, it's Jonathan Smith and Casey Bethard. Yeah, and there's such some such wonderful writing. I just loved all all the lines uh, on the song, but I just felt it. I just felt like Jesus was in it, and I'd been actually thinking about doing more faith based music, and I'd been kind of just waiting and been writing some things of my own. But when this came, I felt like it was really a, a gift from God. Love it. So, Zach, at what point did you realize that you were standing next to Dolly Parton singing your song? <laughs> oh, my goodness. Uh, I would, I think probably the closest we got, I would say, is in that music video because it was about 28 degrees the day that we shot that thing. And we were just back to back trying to stay warm as we could. Uh, you guys, what you guys couldn't see was every time, every time the cameras cut off, we were standing in front of a big torch heater trying to stay warm. And... And they had us doing the craziest stuff. They they had us chewing on ice cubes to try to keep from blowing cold yep. air out. I had never heard of that. No, uh, me we sit here drinking hot tea, trying to stay warm, and they're like, "Chew on ice so we don't see your breath." And I was like, "What in the world?" But um, that, I would say that's when I realized I'm I'm, I'm, I'm touching shoulders with Dolly Parton. This is close <laughs> to the world. literally. Right, we were just staying warm, but it was good. It was snowing that day. You could see it through the cracks in the barn, but it was wonderful. Being close to him was great. But we really had a wonderful time in the recording studio when we actually yeah. recorded it. You know, we, that's where the magic really started. And I love his voice and just hearing him through my headphones and just being that close to him. It was really a, a very spiritual. Uh, thing for both of us, I think, just that wonderful song, what it was saying, what it was about, and our voices sounded so good that we felt like we were really praising God in our own special way. It, it's very special when you, especially the, the first time you hear that song, it definitely puts God bumps, chills up and down your spine. That that I, I, I tell people all the time, I said on the radio, I don't know how many times, that when we all get to heaven, we're going to find out all the angels sound just like Dolly. But... <laughs> I think that uh, what's 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 really touching to me and listening to that song, and I know that you all have heard the stories too. People have been so moved by this message, and they they they're moved to tears listening to this song. That has to make you feel like you've you hit the mark on something. Yeah, I mean, any you know that's that's always the thing when you when you can write a song that touches people on a level that this song has done it. Um, it's it's better than anything, any award, any any kind of thing you could ever get, you know, just hearing stories that people send you, uh, you know, what they're struggling with, what they're going through, and then to turn on a song on the radio and, you know, it just gets you through your day. We were talking about it earlier, like there'll be things going on in, you know, in, in my day and I keep my, I keep my radio on Caleb all the time. And uh, I said, it's, it's different when you hear it come on the radio than it is when you're, you know, it's coming on the CD when it just pops up and you hear it and it's like, Oh, wow that's my song and that's Dolly Parton. And then you just get lost listening to it. And it's like, okay, um, things are not as bad as I thought they were. So, um, but yeah, pretty cool. I think that uh, uh, Dolly, there's, when, when you lend your voice to something, 
it, um, it, it, it kind of, I, I don't want to use the term like a seal of approval, but what I think about is the number of people who are being exposed to Zach and his music and this song, by this song, from this song, because of you. And for that, I am very thankful. I'm very grateful. Thank you. Well, I just thought this, I think this song is so well written and so well felt. I mean, when he wrote this song, I, I knew he knew what he was singing about, but that fits so many people out there. And and I love how our voices do blend, oh. and I'm just so happy. I was honored to sing on this song. It wasn't like I was doing him any favors. I think God was doing us both a favor uh, by giving him that wonderful song and allowing us, you know, the voices that blended so well so we could bless so many people with this song. And certainly this day and time, it's really needed. And these types of songs are really, I think, helping people through a real hard time. But it keeps people kind of close in their faith and gives them a little extra strength. And I just love working with Zach. I love his voice. And I just thank God that I got a chance to be on this wonderful record. And he's such a tiny person too, Dolly, isn't he? <laughs> yeah, and he ain't. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you feel like, you know, does your neck get sore trying to look him in the eye? I mean, I, I you know, I stand next to the guy. I mean, it, it hurts. I mean, I, I you feel pretty good about yourself. I'm like, good Lord, this man's got to be nine feet tall. He's six, six. In fact, yeah. I was saying on one of the shows, when we did the CMA award show, they had put me on a little platform because I actually sang with, uh, you know, for King and Country also. Yeah. And they're the same. They're like six, six. Both guys, all, here I am, this little pygmy, you know. <laughs> I stand there, so they're standing flat, and I'm on my platform. But with Zach, we were over here singing. That's the only way I could even be kind of even close to being where I could kind of lean over and look at him now and then. But yeah, I'm tiny, and he's just a big old feller and sings every inch of it, too, and sounds great. Yeah. He brings it up from the boot hills. There's no yeah, doubt about I love it. Love his voice. Love it. I'm telling you, it, it's one of the most unique in, in any genre of music. And I, you know, you, you, you love listening to him. Thank you. It, it's believe me it's our pleasure but here's the question zach okay now that now now you wrote the song for dolly to sing now which one of dolly's songs do you want to sing with her on <laughs> well i would love to go back and, and do islands in the stream i was a huge fan i remember singing that song as a kid i've always loved kenny rogers and uh i was i was a huge fan of his growing up too so that would be cool. Yeah, it for it. Sometime, but I think that I think I'll always be tagged with Islands with Kenny. I'll always be tagged with you on this one. I think yeah. we should write something together. You should and too. When you do it. Yeah. Man. I mean, anytime and, and Dolly, this is you know going all the way back to even the coat of many colors. Is I, I love the fact that you are unabashedly you your spirituality you bring it out whenever anyone is listening. And anytime you talk about Jesus, man, you go after it. You don't shy away. Thank you. Well, I don't because people always say, you sure you need to be talking about religion? You know how a lot of people are. I say, I am not telling anybody what to do or how to be. I'm telling people who I am. And if you're looking at me, I want to live an example. I mean, I'm no angel. I don't even pretend to be. I'm a sinner like everybody else. I even wrote a song called I'm, I'm a Seeker. It's called A Seeker. But it's about that. You know, God loves us either way. We just have to, you know, believe and hope. And so I just really, I don't shy away from it. That's my faith. That's what I believe. You don't have to listen to me if you don't want to. But that's if right. you don't listen, that's what I'm going to say. Well, and you've never had a problem with saying what's on your mind. No, I haven't. <laughs> <laughs> Get you in trouble too, I understand. It happens to me all the time. Yeah, yeah. No, I get in trouble. But that's all right. God will help me out of it. <laughs> exactly. He'll get you out of it. Now, Zach, the uh, um, the message of this song, it, it's so strong at a time like this. When you set out to write this song, I, I'm, I know it's inspired, but were you looking to, to ease and help for people who are really struggling right now? Yeah, I mean, obviously, I think with anything that I write, it's it's always either a season or a, or a, a time in my life that I've been through. And, and a lot of times I'll, I'll draw from other people's stories. You know, I hear hear people on the road all the time, you know, telling me they're, you know, kind of sharing their testimony with me. And I've, you know, come to realize most of the people I meet have a very similar past as mine. You know, we're all struggling. Um, we all need Jesus. That's the one common yes. theme in everything, every story that I hear. But, you know, for me, I was writing, you know, honestly about the, the 20 years of my past that I didn't see God in the moment. And now that I'm on the other side of that, I'm looking back and seeing the things that God has done in my life. And so, you know, when I wrote the song and when we recorded it, it was before COVID. It was before any of this happened. Wow. It just happened to be, I mean, it's another one of those God kind of ordained moments that it just yep. happened to find its place on radio at the right time. And I think it's something, it's a message that people need to hear because 
we're going to come out on the other side of this all right. You know, God's going to do something pretty amazing out of all of this. And uh, to be a part of that and to have a song that's doing that, it's, it's so special and such an honor to be a part of. So, Well, I, I tell you what, I, I, I've taken up enough of y'all's time, and I just wanted to say thank you again. And, and Miss Dolly, when you, when you hit this, that last whisper of a note when you said, there's <laughs> Jesus, man, every time. I just like, it's like I want everybody just to be quiet. Yep. Let this woman say what she's got to say because it's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> well, maybe that was my God speak. I, so know, but I just never know when to hush. <laughs> oh, no, it's, it's my favorite part of the song, I think, honestly. Uh -huh. I, well, I, just, I just go where I'm inspired, and I'm very inspired working with Zach and this wonderful piece of music, and I'm just so glad that we're both able to lift people up right now. Thank you both so much. And, and, and Zach, thank you for writing such a beautiful song. And Miss Dolly, thank you for living your faith out and, and exposing so many more people to this music. So thank you all very much. And God bless you both. God bless you. Thank you.